So the idea with projection mapping is to use um, a video projector to send light really precisely onto objects. Uh, the object being um, uh, a building or a structure, it could be a sculpture, it could be a, anything really can become um, a canvas for, for projection. And that's pretty much why I like it because um, in, in every day we, we watch, we stare at screens, we look at the, the cinema screen or the TV screen or the phone screen. It's always like a flat rectangular projection or a flat rectangular image. And what I like with projection mapping is the fact you can turn anything into a display. Uh, you can take a sculpture and like project colors onto it or really change the, the way it looks. And then I made this very simple patch. So here I'm moving the mouse over my Illustrator file, um, and wherever the mouse is, it's it's not it's not really a mask, but it kind of looks like a mask. Wherever the mask is, it kind of lights up the lines, and uh, and with the glow effect, it's it's quite quite nice. What my favorite thing is the, this toy generates some kind of feedbacks, and it would be really difficult to animate this. The fact that you, you can see it go. To and so that's just one sound, but... And also what I really love is you can get loads of different variations and um, some very interesting ones like this would be... Well, it's interesting to see that projection mapping is getting mainstream. Uh, when I started, there was not many many projects around. I had to find um, how to do mapping, and and I couldn't find any tutorials. So it was a bit difficult. Uh, and now it's getting yeah, pretty much mainstream. You can see adverts um, with with mapping commercials. Uh, so I'm quite interested in passing the knowledge and explaining how I started and. How I, why I struggled and now, now it's much easier, so I, I really like to pass on the knowledge so it makes it easy for other people to, to, to do mapping. And I really like the idea also to uh, give the opportunity to, uh, to kids and children and like creative people in general to, to, to help them to, uh, to make their own projection mapping projects. So then uh, they could, they could um, skip the difficult technical part and go straight to the creative aspect of, of projects. And uh, I think it's a bit of a shame that seeing all these commercials with mapping. So I like the idea of giving the, the tools to creative people so, so we can have more projects with, with mapping and not only adverts. Or um, use the sound. Again, like this is the synth at the moment, but it could be, it could be uh, live music from a, a DJ uh, mixer or, or a microphone. I uh, well, I really want to, uh, to thank the public for inviting me here. Uh, it was an opportunity for me to show my, uh, my personal work uh, to, uh, to the audience here, to do uh, the, the volcano piece I've been doing as well. There was a chance for me to do this residence and, and uh, enhance some of the projects. And also doing the workshops here with various people, with kids and, and today with artists is uh, really inspiring because I always get also some feedback and something that inspires me for, for future projects.